I often get asked, well, how long will opportunity last? And, you know, I can't say. I, you know, I don't think anyone knows. You know, eight years ago, you know, we were scratching our heads and said, well, maybe six months if we're really lucky. But here we're eight years later, and the rover is still in very good health. And now we're at Endeavor Crater. We're seeing new geology, older geology. It's a whole new window on the history of Mars. It's the earliest period of Mars in which there was water, sustained liquid water on the surface. It was in that era that life started on the Earth. And so that's when we think Mars was the most Earth-like. And we've already seen evidence of that era reflected in some of the minerals that we've discovered at this new location. We've assessed them to be gypsum, and that's significant because these are minerals that form in water, and they form in place. Perhaps groundwater came up and filled cracks and fractures in the geology that formed these veins of lightone material. That's a great advantage that you have with a rover that can travel and move. It's not the same stuff. It's new stuff every day. Right now, Opportunity is going through her fifth Martian winter. And this one's a, a little more challenging than the previous winters because dust continues to accumulate on the solar rays, which has reduced the power levels we could produce. We had to take the rover and drive it up onto a ridge that gives us about a 15 degree tilt towards the north. That's where the sun will be in the winter time because we're in the southern hemisphere. It's kind of like adjusting your deck chair to maximize your suntan. In, in a very unusual way, this roving vehicle, when it's stationary, allows us to probe the interior of, of Mars. Its radio signal now becomes a proxy for the rotational rate of Mars. And so we're going to measure the rotational rate of Mars very precisely, which will give us a handle on the physical interior of the planet, its distribution of material inside, the size of the core, maybe the fluid state of the core. Right now, Opportunity is alone on the surface of Mars. We had to say goodbye to Spirit after over six years of successful operation with that rover. But soon, Opportunity will have company, and that'll be Curiosity, the next rover. Now, Curiosity will land uh, a quarter of the way around the planet from Opportunity, so there's no chance of them ever meeting up. But it's nice that we are continuing the multi-vehicle exploration of the surface.